cabinet system under the British Constitution. Introduction The cabinet is the core of the British parliamentary form of government and is its chief guiding authority. Cabinet has been rightly described as the glory of the Constitution. According to Murray, the cabinet is a term recognized by convention to describe the group of ministers chosen by the Prime Minister who are collectively responsible for formulating policy and controlling the departments subject to parliamentary approval. Evolution of the Cabinet System Originally, the cabinet was a committee of the Privy Council, which became too large for administration work. The cabinet is called the child of the Privy Council. King Charles II, 1668 began to consult a small group of privy councillors in matters of state. In the reign of Charles II, the cabinet acquired a formal shape. The cabinet system was further developed during the reign of William III and Queen Anne. Nature of the British Cabinet The cabinet is a body unrecognized by law. Its existence is only customary, that is, based on custom or convention. Composition of the British Cabinet The Cabinet is the driving force of the administration. At the end of the general elections, the King or Queen invites the leader of the majority party in the House of Commons, who then becomes the Prime Minister, and the Crown asks him to form the Cabinet. Features of the Cabinet System England has a parliamentary government where the king is the nominal and constitutional head of the executive. The real powers are exercised by the parliament. There are certain essential features according to which the cabinet system is being carried out. The important features of the cabinet system of Great Britain are a. Exclusion of the king from the cabinet. The queen of the kings does not attend the cabinet meeting. It has become a constitutional convention. b. Leadership of the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister plays a dominant role in the Cabinet. The Cabinet is formed by the Prime Minister. He is the keystone of the Cabinet arch. c. Secrecy. The meetings of the Cabinet are secret and private. Every member of the Cabinet takes the oath of secrecy. The discussion is not disclosed to the public. D. No legal status. The British cabinet has no legal status. There is no mention of a cabinet in the written part of the constitution. The cabinet is called the child of the conventions. E. Ministerial responsibility. The cabinet members are responsible to the House of Commons individually as well as collectively, and they are liable to the law for their acts. F. Unity of Cabinet. Unity in the Cabinet is an outstanding feature of the British Cabinet system. The Cabinet always acts as a unit. They are supposed to face the House with one voice. G. Collective Responsibility. The members are collectively responsible. The result is that all the members work as a team. The Cabinet stands or falls together as a unit. Function of the British Cabinet. Following are the important functions of the British Cabinet. a. Policy determining functions. The Cabinet is a policy forming body. The Cabinet discusses and decides on all sorts of national and international problems. The Cabinet decides which measures will receive priority. b. Executive function. In England, the Cabinet is the real executive. The cabinet formulates the general policy of the government. It determines the foreign policy of the government and decides measures for war and peace. All important appointments are made by the cabinet. c. Legislative functions. The cabinet controls legislative activities. The following are the main legislative functions. 1. The parliament is summoned by the king on the advice of the cabinet. 2. The speech of the King in Parliament is prepared by the Cabinet. 3. The Cabinet explains all bills that are to be passed in Parliament. 4. The Cabinet guides the Leader of the House in Parliament. d. Financial function. The Cabinet plays an important role in this regard. It prepares the budget for the country and is responsible for the whole expenditure of the stock. e. 
Judicial Functions Following are the judicial functions of the British Cabinet. 1. The judges of important courts are appointed by the King on the advice of the Cabinet. 2. The rules and regulations for the judiciary are prepared by the Cabinet. 3. The power of pardon, reprieve, and respite is exercised by the King on the advice of the Cabinet.